today I wanted to touch on a topic that a lot of you ask me about. How did I quit drinking? I was talking to my husband the other night and I really, I asked him, I said, how did I quit drinking? Everybody asks me, how did you do it? How did you do it? Like all these questions. And I said, I changed my mindset, but that's not a good enough answer. So I really got to thinking about it and we were talking about it and how I quit drinking was I looked at all the failures that I had been doing in my life. I was failing as a mom, I was failing as a wife, I was failing in so many areas of my life and realized that I was not present the way I should be. So how I quit drinking is different than probably a lot of other people quit drinking. A lot of people probably their how is, while well, somebody wanted me to quit drinking, I had to quit drinking because of my health, so many reasons. But when you really look deep into yourself and realize what you're doing and how alcohol is affecting your life, that is your how. Your how is your failures. You are failing at life by letting alcohol completely control your life. Alcohol controlled my life. One was too much and a thousand was never too much. That saying definitely resonates with me so much because as soon as alcohol touched my lips, it was over. I could go weeks without drinking and it was fine. Like I was fine not drinking. I didn't have the shakes, I didn't have withdrawals. It didn't consume my daily life but I couldn't handle drinking. I chased the buzz too much. I looked, I was ridiculous. I was not present when I was drinking. I would just go way overboard. So how I quit drinking is I looked deep into myself and I realized what I was doing to my kids and that they deserved a better mom. I deserved to be a better person. And I realized I felt so much better without substance in my body and letting it completely control me. It controlled me. When you realize that alcohol is destroying who you are, the people in your life, that will be your how. But until you look into yourself, we all fail. We all fail at something. Failure is one of those things that if you don't fail, you won't learn. I can't tell you enough how many times I look back and think, gosh, I could have done that better. Well, I definitely failed at that. I, but those failures brought me here and I wouldn't, I wouldn't be helping so many people. I wouldn't be changing, I wouldn't be breaking generational cycles and chains. I wouldn't be here showing my kids that life is so much better without alcohol and being a healthier person in general. I wouldn't be here if I didn't realize that my failures were my how I quit drinking. What is your how? What do you, what can you do better at life versus thinking that alcohol is just the key to your life because it's not. You're failing your family. You're failing yourself. You suck because you can't choose to not consume alcohol. Like those of you that like are dependent on it and have to daily have it without, you know, with, and you don't realize the repercussions. The first three weeks of my drinking, I was miserable. I was bored. I was like, how do you do this? Like, what's the fun in this? But once I got past those first three weeks and started really focusing on, gosh, life is so, it's smoother. It's easier. It's not as choppy. It's not as messy. Like life is messy with alcohol. You're hungover. You feel like crap. You're bloated. Your stomach constantly probably hurts. You can't lose the weight that you've been trying to lose. And you choose staying inside and drinking or unless you're invited to a drinking event, then you're not gonna 
do anything with anybody because alcohol is not involved. Your life is literally revolved around alcohol so much. And that was my life. It was, well, we can't wait to go drinking before the concert. We can't wait to get drinks at dinner. Oh, what about happy hour? What about lunch with friends? Get a beer at noon. I mean, it was all the things, all the things. So when I was sitting on the couch the other night and thought about my how I quit drinking was, I can't tell you enough that the failures that we have had in life shape who we are today. And we have to let those failures go. I can't tell you enough how much my mindset has changed. And I think that's the glitch in a lot of us is we don't look at alcohol as failing us. We don't look at what we could have without alcohol. All we do is focus on what I don't have without alcohol. What's my night look like? What's my weekend look like without alcohol? It's gonna be boring. It's not. I look back and I'm doing so much more with my family now than I ever have in the last, well, since I've been with my husband. We do so many things. I was literally failing my children because all I wanted to do was look for my next drink. The weekends had to be like, everybody come over, let's all drink. Get togethers just revolved around alcohol. The kids don't need to see that. Your body hates you. You feel like complete junk. Come Monday, you have to recover on Monday because of how much you drink over the weekend. It's, or throughout the, I mean, if you drink daily, then that also sucks probably too. I didn't drink daily. I didn't go to AA. I didn't go to rehab. I simply decided to take on a challenge and it changed my life. Completely and utterly changed my life. It was that mental toughness that I needed. It was that mental, oh, like, kick me into gear. I need to do this. I want to feel better about myself. But my mindset shifted. It changed because I looked at, I look at alcohol completely different now. I actually hate it, honestly. It's ruined so many things. The generations of drinking, the chains that are just so tied to alcohol is sad. It's quite heartbreaking. You, I look around and I can see so many things just broken because of alcohol and I'm done failing my kids. I'm done failing my family, I'm done failing myself because I decided in my mind that alcohol was failing me. If you don't look at it that way, I don't think you're going to, you're gonna struggle. You're gonna struggle finding your how if you can't get over thinking of alcohol constantly. Like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Like, what? You're stupid. You, tr you don't drink anymore? That's lame. You're boring. No, 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 no. You're lame. You're stupid and you're boring because all you want to do is drink. That's all your life is revolved around. How many of us have stayed at home because we, we want to drink alcohol instead of going out and enjoying ourselves? How many of us have chose just to say, hey, no, you just come over and then you just drink the whole night. And then the next day is just terrible. Have you ever been hungover with children? Let me tell you, it's the worst thing ever. I'm so glad I don't have to feel that way anymore. So my how I quit drinking is one, I looked inside myself and what I was doing to my kids. And I realized that I was not present for nighttime routines. Luckily my kids were pretty independent, but are they independent because of my drinking? Given I was very, you know, love, I'm very lovable with my children. Don't get me wrong. We do a lot of things together. We have our own routines, but did I, was I the best at night? No, I was not. Did, and then number two is how I was treating myself and how I was treating my husband and other people that were close to me and my actions, I reflected on that and realized that I treat people, my reactions when I'm drunk is I react very quickly, but I still react quickly, just not as aggressively. But that is another, like I looked at how, how I was treating people and myself. And like number three, how I felt when I quit drinking and realized that, oh my gosh, I don't have to feel like this. If I stop putting alcohol in my body, 
I liked watching the weight come off. I liked watching the bloat go down, the shape of my face change, and the energy come back. Like how I felt said it all. Like, cause as soon as you start feeling better, you start treating people better, you have more energy, your mindset's different. I mean, everything just goes hand in hand. It's a big circle. You just have to somehow look inside of you and realize that alcohol is not who you are. It is maybe who you want to be, which is very sad. So many of us don't, we, I, I can't say this enough, so many of us don't realize what we're doing and we just constantly are choosing something over our own family. We don't see what we're doing until we quit drinking and we can move on from drinking and it's really sad. A lot of relationships have been broken or strained because of alcohol and I'm gonna build a bond with my children so tight that alcohol will never come between me and my kids. It will not destroy my family anymore. The four of us, we have gone through a lot because of drinking. It wasn't just me, a bunch of things, but we as a couple decided that we were going to stop failing our family, dogs included, so the six of us. But you know, yeah, because like even the dogs get the shaft because you're hungover and you don't want to do anything or they're stuck at home because you're out partying and you don't come home until late. But you know what, life goes on. Moving forward, looking at those failures and holding on to those failures, realizing that you don't want to be a failure anymore. I am done being a failure. I'm done letting alcohol fail my life. That is how you have to look at it. So move on from those failures, let the bottle go, dump it all down the drain, stop holding on to it. If you want a better life for yourself, if you want a closer relationship with your children, even if they're grown, you have to stop. That's the problem with society is we don't advocate enough for people to stop drinking. We just want to push out call on people. We want to question their sobriety. We want to question so many things, but at the same time, they're failing themselves. Don't let them fail you. Do not let them drag you down. Just keep going, pushing forward. And if you stayed sober today, do that exact same thing tomorrow as you did today. Do not give up. Do not let alcohol fail you anymore. If you like this content, please like and subscribe and we are all in this together. So stop failing yourself, pick yourself up and move on. Let the bottle go. <laughs>